In this video tutorial, I want to talk about the graph mapper tool. One of our users asked about the graph mapper and how, I, uh, how we can use it. I've uh, explained the graph mapper in many examples, in many grasshopper tutorials, and I also have used this in the grasshopper course uh, lessons many, many times to uh, change the distribution from linear to uh, sine or whatever you want. So basically, this tutorial will be a small one about the graph mapper and how you can s use it to uh, produce a, a simple pattern. You can com uh, combine the graphs and uh, produce uh, different patterns based on the combination of the graphs. You can see that I can produce this. So basically you can find the graph mapper by double clicking and searching for GRAF graph and here it goes, the graph mapper. You can also find this in the um, Parms menu in the input. And here it goes, the graph map. Okay, let's get started from scratch. Uh, you can also download the definition uh, in the Grasshopper uh, tutorial section in the website parametrichouse.com and you can find the uh, graph mapper tutorial and download the algorithm. So uh, I'm going to start with a simple line here. Uh, you can find the SDL or start direction length tool by simply typing SDL or you can go to the curve tools and in the primitive we have the SDL tool. I can give it a start so the start will be 0, 0, 0 at the center of the xy plane, the direction will be the y. So I'm going to draw a simple line in the y direction and then array it in the x direction. So I have a set of lines here. And the direction will be the y direction and the length will be whatever we want. And now we can just array this with a linear distribution in the x direction and with the distance of maybe 5.5 and 80 count so you can change the length and the number of the lines okay so how can we use the uh, graph mapper tool basically what I'm going to do is to rotate these lines uh, from their first or from the start or the end of the line and rotate them let me show you here so assume that we have a line here and we want to rotate that so I'm going to rotate this line at the end and it uh, from the X direction so if you rotate the line from the X direction it will just go up and down and we can change the degree of rotation from minus 60 to 60 or minus 30 to 30 so it's going to make a sinus a sine wave and we can understand how graph mapper helps us to accomplish that uh, accomplish that so i'm going to uh, rotate these lines rot 3d and i'm going to go for rotate 3d the geometry we want to rotate is the lines the center of rotation will be the end of the line so we can go to the curve and use the point uh, on curve tool I'm going to use the point on curve tool and we can uh, define the point of rotation whatever we want but I'm going to show you at the end the center of rotation the axis will be the x direction I told you why because we want to make it go up and down so it's going to be the x axis and now I'm going to use the angle but remember the angles are always radians so we can make it into degrees so I'm going to right click and uh, use the degrees or you can also use the rad tool the radians you can give degrees and have the radians come out so basically you can choose one of these methods okay now I'm going to uh, if I give a number to this rotation angle you can see that I'm rotating all of these lines uh, from the end 
25 degree or whatever I'm, I'm doing this okay now we need a series of rotations so maybe this is going to go to 0 and then I'm going to go to 5 maybe the next is going to 10 and the next is going to 20 and then again I'm going down 10 5 0 so it's going to be a sine wave uh, technically, if you want a sine wave in your patterns, you can uh, make a range tool. The range of the range tool is between the domain is 0 to 1. So this is the best method you can use or combine with Graph Mapper. First, you make a range from 0 to 1, and the steps should be the number of the uh, geometry. So if we have 61 lines here, and that is because we have 61 uh, count, and I give this to the range you can see that the output will be 62 and that is because the range will sum up uh, one number because if you divide a domain say we have 0 to 1 and we divide it into uh, two steps so it's going to be 0, 0 0.5 and 1 so we have three numbers here so if we give a step remember we have one more than the steps we have so if we have 61 uh, lines we need to go to the steps choose the expression and type here x minus 1 so it will be the same number of the lines so I'm going to steps expression x minus 1 and now we have 61 range of numbers that is between 0 and 1 and now the reason I use the range from 0 to 1 because it uh, perfectly uh, c can combine with the graph so I'm going to use the graph mapper and give this to the graph mapper and right click we can use different graph types and you can see that we can have the conic we can have the busier curve we can have the parabola a linear one a sign which I'm going to use now so I'm going to give this a sign graph and change the handles you can see that the number is from 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 I've explained about the graph mapper in many tutorials but for now what happens is that we have a distribution of uh, numbers between 0 and 1 so assume that we have numbers from uh, 0 to 1 by making it from the range because we use the range tool uh, what happens is that the numbers will just okay let me use the red lines so the number will project into this graph and then project on the another axis so whatever number it is will uh, translate into another number and this will make the middle or maybe that's a 0 0.5 uh, go to 1 so uh, and then again it comes to zero so if I give this to the rotation what will happen it will go up uh, a zero to one and then again to zero and we can't see that okay if you want to see that you can just multiply that I can go to the mathematics and just multiply this may be why 20 and you can see it better okay so this is the technique you can use to make it 38 degree from 0 to 38 degree but we can also use another tool which I will add to this uh, lesson you can go to the website and download it it's a remap tool and this is the technique you can always use with graph mapper so the technique will be use uh, first use the range from 0 to 1 so we basically didn't change the domain and have the numbers uh, according to your geometry then combine this with the graphs so you can have multiple graphs on this way and after that you can use the remap tool and what happens here is that we can uh, change the distribution from 0 to 1 to whatever we want from my minimum and to the maximum and that will go to the degree so the remap is basically a scaling tool it will scale the numbers from 0 to 1 to something we want so maybe we want minus 30 degrees to 30 degrees but you can't 
uh, produce a minus 30 degrees with the multiplication. So the remap tool will scale this and this is a simple tool. You can open it and see what I have done. It's a simple tool, okay? So I'm going to uh, go through maybe 30 degrees and I'm going to go minus 30 to 30. So I'm going to in the ma minimum and in the expression a minus x. So this means that the input is minus this number. So it's minus 30 to 30. And let's just change this. Minus x. And then we can give this here. So you can see it goes up and down because um, when you multiply, you have 0 and 30 down. So we can have the up uh, degree here and we can control that to maybe 20 degree exactly the degrees you want and that's it and now we can change the graphs have the pattern and we can also have more lines we can change the location of rotation uh, instead of at the end going at the middle can change it to half mid so the lines will rotate at the middle and you can control this too you can see that I'm controlling this okay so we can change the location too and that's it and now we can have multiple graphs here so I'm going to have another graph and let's just connect this and give it a busier distribution so you can see that the busy distribution makes it uh, a, s a fast switch between the graphs because uh, you know, let's just check this out when you have a busier uh, distribution your numbers are increasing but the uh, resulting number is not increasing so it basically moves fast you can see that it's rotating near zero then it jumps to 30 and now it jumps to minus 30 and it get jumps so it's something that you can control uh, how fast this jumps so uh, you can combine this or you can have the first the bezier at the start you can see that it comes like something like this let's just choose none so you can see this and then give it a sign so the base is the graph of the busier but when you give a sign you can see that you can only control at the middle of the pattern so this is how you can combine them and it's important which uh, graph type you're using and then you're combining it with another one so you can see we have sign summation we can change these to maybe a conic okay and we can have a parabola distribution or we can have just a, a sine C distribution to this you can also double click on the graph mapper and control this uh, in detail and you can also change the number from 0 1 to something else but we don't need that because we used a 0 to 1 domain and we just fixed that okay now I'm going to go for the sign and we can make those boxes appear easily we can just extrude these lines in the X direction or maybe in the Z direction so the uh, give it a number so that will be the depth of our panels okay just zoom in and now we can again extrude that in the x direction so this will go for the x and we can give it a number another number here so that will be our panels and let's just connect a display custom preview to this so you can see that and color swatch to change the color and here we go so you can also have the edges so I'm going to go to the surface and use the brep edges here and maybe have another custom preview 
for the naked and an interior maybe change it to something white so you can see the edges in white and the model into the blue and now we can change the degrees okay we can give it another graph we can combine two graphs here we can just make it jump up or something and uh, have the results here we can also double click and just make this two waves so it exactly comes down at the end okay and you can see that it just comes up and down so this is a small tutorial about the graph mapper you can check this in another tutorials you can also enter the course we used uh, many examples with graph mapper in the lessons so you can understand more about the graph mappers we use in the point, attra point attractors curve attractors and we will you also use that for image attractors if we want so uh, this is the simplest way you can the most simple way you can use uh, okay let's just show this the most simple way you can use it to uh, produce a model and uh, you can combine this technique with anything. You can rotate something. You can extrude something based on a graph mapper. So feel free to play with the, um, uh, this range graph mapper technique and give this remap to something you want. Maybe extrusion. Uh, maybe you want a rotation. Maybe you want this to move something. Okay, I'm typing. I'm drawing with my mouse. So uh you can see that uh, we can uh, control and use these graph mappers to produce a uh, parametric uh, geometry or we can even combine this with uh, numbers and use it for data okay thank you for watching and if you have any questions if if there's any grasshopper commands that you want to know and you don't know and i have not uh, made a video about that feel free to ask and I will just uh, record a video about that command and explain that. We also have a question of uh, a question each Saturday uh, about different questions you have in the YouTube page. So also feel free to ask your questions in the YouTube page so I can know what's uh, your questions, what you have, uh, what's your problem about the Grasshopper uh, um, interface, how uh, you have difficulty to understand it and so i can explain it in a small video about your questions thank you for watching